Hi everyone, welcome to Pearl's Kitchen. If you like my video, give it a thumbs up. Press the red button to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified for my upcoming video. It's all free. Thank you. The Christian experience from start to finish is a journey of faith. Amen. Today I'm going to show you how I make prawn fried rice and here are the ingredients. In here I've got 500 grams of king prawns. You can use the smaller ones if you want. In here I've got one onion and we're going to marinate the prawn with two tablespoons of soya sauce, quarter teaspoon of salt. I've got half uh, one teaspoon of onion powder and one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. In here I've got a quarter teaspoon of chili flakes, I've got a quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon of white pepper, I've got one tablespoon of oyster sauce, in here I've got three tablespoons of dark soya sauce and in here I've got half an inch of ginger grated and half an inch of ginger grated and I've got four garlic cloves of garlic that I've grated. In here I've got 8 to 10 green beans that I've cut into small pieces, half a cup of peas and I've got one carrot also that I've cut, one green pepper, one red pepper. We'll need around four to five eggs, depends on how many you want to put. And in here I've got four, uh, four spring onions in here and I've got cooked rice that I cooked the night before and you can use one cup per person for this prawn fried rice. Okay, the very first thing we're going to do is uh, marinate the prawns. So we're going to put the onion powder, the Cajun season, seasoning and the salt and the soy sauce. Just mix it all together. And then put the soy sauce and just mix it and now let this marinate for at least 15 minutes. Okay, in this frying pan I've got two tablespoons of olive oil. Oli oil is not on the ingredients, so I'll just tell you as I go along. So, as soon as the two tablespoons of oil gets hot, we're going to fry these prawns. Okay, you can turn them aside after a minute and a half, and then cook it for another minute and a half. So, in total, cook this for three, three minutes. And then after cooking it for three minutes, frying it for three minutes, you remove the prawns and put it separate on a plate. Okay, I've fried the prawns both sides, so they've had three minutes of frying. So I'm just going to take it all out and just put it, keep it separate on the plate. And then we'll carry on with the rest. Okay, now in the same frying pan, I've put another tablespoon of oil and I've beaten the five eggs with a pinch of salt. Now we're going to make this into scrambled eggs. This doesn't take long. Let's break it off. And it takes one for two minutes. And then we're going to put this aside as well. Okay, that's it. I remove this and keep that aside as well. Okay, now take a wok and in here I've got another two tablespoons of oil and as soon as it gets hot, we're going to saute the ginger garlic, the grated ginger garlic. For a minute before we add the vegetables. Okay, after a minute of frying the onions, we're going to add only the peas and the beans and the carrots. And we're going to saute this for at least three minutes on a high flame. Okay, we've had it three minutes of frying, and I forgot to tell you the peas were parboiled. So they've already half cooked, more than half cooked. Now we're going to add the chili flakes, the salt and the pepper, and the oyster sauce. And mix 
that all in. And the flame is still on high. And now we're going to add the peppers. And now you saute that for another couple of minutes. Okay, once the vegetables are done, we're going to add the rice now. Normally I make this in two batches because my family just love this. Okay, and you mix that all together. Okay, after the vegetables and rice is mixed, then you pour in all the soya sauce. And we add the eggs. And now we're going to mix it all together. After mixing all the soya sauce and the eggs, lastly we're going to add all the prawns. And don't forget to put all the juices. Just nice bits. And then also add the spring onions. And now mix this all together and stir fry all this for a couple of minutes. Okay, the prawns and rice and everything is thoroughly mixed for a couple of minutes. Now I'm going to put the gas off and we're going to serve it. It's our delicious prawn fried rice ready. And just before you put it and serve it to your guests or family, if you want, you can just garnish it with a little bit more spring onions. And that's ready to eat. It's still steaming away. Now as you saw how quick and easy this was to make and this in itself is a good meal to have for lunch or for dinner. So I hope you all like this. Share my link with your family and friends and I shall see you next time with some more delicious cooking. But until then, may God go with you and give you his peace.